Polar Express operating presence car and bridge girder flat car. Unboxing and first test run starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing the two newest cars that arrived just recently for my Polar Express model railroad layout. The first one is the operating presence car. The second one is the bridge girder flat car. We're going to get them on the railroad, we're going to test them out, see how they do, and we're going to get a look at them operating through a few different maneuvers. So let's the first get started. The car that we're going to open up and unbox is the bridge girder flat car. And we'll see what that looks like as soon as we can get it out of the box. There we go. There it is. And this has the parts that you need, not only to look at and haul around the railroad, but there's also the bridge deck that comes with it. So you can actually use these parts, these girders, and this bridge deck to make a bridge on your railroad, if that's what you're so inclined to do. I'm inclined to just use this as a car that I operate on the railroad and I'm not going to put together a bridge and use that. I've already got a Polar Express bridge on my railroad and I'm not going to go ahead and put another one on. This is what the girders look like. Open this up a little bit. It's the Polar Express and it's in the kind of maroon coloring. That's one of the two colors that the Polar Express uh, uses. This is the flat car. There are some parts that need to go on here to hold things in place. So we'll be putting those on as well. And that's what we have here. These are some of the parts that go with it that hold the girders down. And there also are screws in here that would be used to screw the girders to the bridge deck. Since I'm not going to be putting the, gir the bridge together, I'm just going to use the girders to fall around as part of my railroad layout. I won't be going into that. So let's go ahead and finish putting this together and we'll come right back and show you what it looks like. Here's the Polar Express bridge girder flat car on the rails. A couple issues arose when I was putting this together. First is the cables that hold it down and I'll try to zoom in and show you a little bit more closely what those look like. There's cables, two cables that came with it to hold it down. However, the ends of those cables do not fit through the holes in the flat car, in the bed of the flat car. So I had to take it, uh, an X-Acto knife and trim those off a little bit in order to make them fit through. Once I did that, fine, no problem, they fit through and they're where they're supposed to be. The other issue that I, I noticed here is, I'm going to have to figure out another method to deal with it, is that there are no spacers that come with it to hold the girders upright. So. The bottom of the girders is on the flat car. The tops of the girders are turned inward, are pulled together by the cables that hold them down. And it kind of looks odd without them being upright. So I'm going to have to come up with some spacers that are the right length to go between them at the top and hold them apart so that they're both perfectly upright. As it is now, you can see, I'm going to hold it up here and you'll be able to see, we've got the space at the bottom and then at the top, they're held together like that, which just looks odd. So I need to figure out a fix for that, and I'll, I'll work on that uh, coming up. Probably just need to uh, take some scrap wood and make spacers and, and paint it so that it looks right. And we'll get that done in the, in the future. So let's move on, and we'll do the operating presence car next. So this is the Polar Express operating presence car. We'll get that open and take a look at it, see what we have inside. This is the usual Lionel packaging for the rail cars. And here we have the operating presence car. There's uh, doors on each side. Uh, there's latches that uh, are in place on each side for those doors. And uh, there's the presents are supposed to somehow get loaded in the car, and then we can operate the car to get them to automatically come out.
Now, the little clips on the bottom here, these little electric pickups here on the bottom, see if you can see it here, if I hold it up here at an angle, this little electric pickup here goes with an operating rail section that does not come with the car. So you need to get that, uh, and that's a separate item. The instructions here tell you that it is the fast track remote uncoupling track 6-12020 is the part number. It's available separately. The instructions here call it the operating merchandise car instead of the operating presence car so I take it that they're probably reusing instructions that were for some other type of car as well. The presence go in the hatch in the roof and that's the hatch in the roof. They go in there, drop into there, and then they should automatically unload when you get to where you have the operating coupling track. Now that's the same track that I have for my hot cocoa cans unloading. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to just use that and not have to do anything differently. We'll get started on this and we'll load the presents in in a little bit and we'll see how it works. But the first thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out which side they come out. It looks like they're going to come out this side. The door, yeah, that side is, the door on this side is spring loaded. So that's the side that they're going to come out. They'll load into the hatch on the top here. They'll go down a chute inside the car and they'll come out here. So that will have to be facing towards my unloading platform in order to have the presence pop out there. So we're going to get this loaded up, we're going to get it on the tracks, and then we'll see how it Before works. Before we actually start our test run on these two cars, here's what the two of them look like connected up, coupled together on the track. That's uh, actually not bad looking. They're, they're good looking cars. I'm a little surprised that Lionel did not put snow on the roof of the operating presence car. Um, but they don't seem to be doing that on all of their cars. It's kind of uh, hit or miss. You need to look at carefully at what you're buying before you buy it to see whether or not it'll have snow on the roof. One of the things that I've learned is that you have to have that car perfectly centered on the operating track section in order for it to function. We're going to go ahead and see now if we've got good contacts and see what happens when we try to operate it. Well, we've got a present out. That's a good sign. Another present out. Another present. They're really not kicking out all the way and the door's not closing. Maybe something to do with the fact that I've got them on that platform instead of just dropping on the ground. It looks to me like I've unloaded all the packages successfully onto the platform. That's, again, the same platform I use for the hot cocoa cans, and it's the same operating track section that comes with the, uh, doesn't come with, that you have to buy separately in order to operate the hot cocoa car. So let me see if I can get the door to close. There. I think we're through. I think we've got a successful operation. So let me go ahead and get the car, trains all running and we'll have a look at the layout with all the trains in operation. All right, we've got all three trains running on the layout right now. That's kind of a fun thing to observe. At the Elf train, on the Elf work train on the upper level, the passenger train, and the Polar Express freight train on the lower level. There comes the passenger train through. And the freight train is coming around as well.
My three newest cars have just come out of the tunnel and we're going to watch them roll along. The first will be the operating presence car, the second the bridge girder flat car, and finally the bell flat car. Here we go. That's the operating presence car, followed by the bridge girder flat car, followed by the bell flat car. My three newest Polar Express freight train rolling stock. Here comes the Elf work train around on the upper level. That's the Elf work train plus the additional four pack of cars that go with it. So we've got three trains plus the trolley moving at the present time. Well, that'll do it for today's video, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Please click the like button down below, the thumbs up. Share this video with anyone else you know that may be interested in model railroading. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. We're getting really close to 1,000. And every comment that you make, every like that you give us, every time you, someone subscribes to us, it helps with what one of my other compatriots that makes YouTube videos likes to call Al Gore's rhythm, the algorithm. So help me with the algorithm or Al Gore's rhythm and like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching.